Hey guys, I'm out here changing my front diff fluid in my, it's be a 2013 Polaris uh, Brutus. It is a diesel model, but the gas models will be the same like in the Rangers. So if you're looking to change your front diff fluid, uh, I got all the tools here in front of me. I'm going to be sharing with you on what I used. First things first, we're going to locate where the drain plug is which i have already done uh it's actually right here i sprayed mine real good and i almost stripped it out almost i say almost what happened was i wasn't looking under there real good and there's like some metal tabs it almost looked like that i need to get past so i had to persuade my allen on a socket with um, a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet would work and I got it seated nicely and it came off actually uh, you can use a some kind of break like a breaker bar that'll help give you more leverage I've found um, and sometimes putting it on here like this and just tapping it with tapping the handle with a dead blow or rubber mallet works great for loosening those so just be careful uh if you start to strip it just take a step back and reevaluate make sure your socket's going all the way up in there and definitely be using the right allen wrench for that um the second which i'm going to show you here in a minute second locations right there and i got the bolt here in front of me they both have seals on them. One has a magnet and one does not, so don't mix them up. Make sure you put them back with the magnet down. Um, which brings me to my next handy dandy tool here. Grab you one of these from the auto store if you're going to be doing this because this is a lifesaver. Had it laying around, so I blew it out. What we're going to do is I already put the plug back in. We're going to fill it up with this fluid that I got here in front of me. I want to show you what fluid to buy for this uh, unit. Now these go for Rangers as well, like I said, and it'd be 2013 and up. Uh, they might change in the tw like 22s and 25 models. I I will uh, put in the description though what this is good for, what years this is good for, and I'll try to tag some models and stuff on there. But uh, this is the stuff from Polaris guys. It's an all-terrain says four hub and centralized Hillard clutches. So make sure you're buying the stuff. I don't know what it is with the Hillard clutches, but I was on a forum and saw some different things, but I know that I looked this up. It even says right here, ATV Ranger and RZ, RZR. So the RZR is the sport, more sporty model, the faster model. So this is gonna apply to those as well. Um, and it said it was under a quart it doesn't hold much, so don't buy more than a quart. Um, you'll have extras. And I picked this up on Amazon for 20 bucks. Seemed a little high in my opinion, but um, hey, I didn't want to take chances when I was reading on the forums that something about, I think it was the Hillard clutches or whatever, but you might find something better um, with research. I was just in a pinch and needed something fast because I'm going on a trip tomorrow actually so uh yeah let me tell you what socket i got going on here and then everything else is going to be self-explanatory guys uh you're going to fill this up until the fluid till you can see it or it starts to pour not from you not having it in there all the way but just pour out as in it being full make sure you put your plug back in under there and um yeah i will give you a couple more things here there should be a part number on this uh, oil. Yeah, there you go. There's the part number for the oil. And I'm gonna get you a size Allen wrench here to make your life easier. What is this? Oh, it's a 5 16 So that's what size that is. So you have all the tools. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And please give me a like or comment or Better yet, a follow would be cool too. Hey, have a good day.